don't you just feel like something's missing? First they came for the clinic. Then they came for our library. Sports centre, one-stop shop, forget it. This is Preston in Brent, London, where one by one our precious services have been removed. Remember this? The busy local library, serving three local schools, including Preston Park, one of the biggest in the borough. Three years ago, Brent Council decided this was poorly located and low usage. And they told us they wanted to close it. They asked our opinion, then promptly ignored it. To save a million pounds, they wanted to close six libraries, half of the borough. They could have kept all of them open and cut the hours instead, but they didn't. Our councillor at the time, Anne John, told us she had never lived near a library, so it seems no one should. She told us to get our books from a charity shop or ASDA, because charity shops have the books our kids need for their homework. And ASDA has a free lending service, doesn't it? The young, the elderly and everyone in between were told to buy their books or get on a bus. We were still paying for the libraries, but for the other half, and that one million pound they wanted to save, Maybe that's how they were going to pay for the £3 million library or the £100 million civic centre in a recession. So here we are, 84%. 84% saying no thanks. We rather like our lovable old library. And there's a Labour Council. Block voting to close them all. No arguments and not one of them supported us. Especially these two, our friendly local councillors. By autumn of 2011, the wall went up. The community was visibly shocked. And the one local service the council have allowed was closed, emptied. We stormed the meetings. We collected 10,000 signatures in the biggest campaign this area has ever seen. We met councillors, put in FOI requests, crunched the numbers, because you see, we actually used our library. Our kids learned to love reading and the people learned English. It was where the community gathered and it was the most efficient, best used library in the borough. We were lied to. Meanwhile, our friendly council leader tells the world we're within 1.5 miles of our nearest library. So we tested this out. You can make your own mind up about this. Our case was so strong, our support was so great that we joined forces with the other library campaigns and Brent SOS was born. We raised thousands and we were the first campaign in the country to reach the High Court. We didn't win in court, but we gained a community united and the world is watching Basket Case Brent Council. The architects of this ridiculous policy, councillors Anne John and James Powney, have now been toppled and our beloved library is still standing, ready to be reopened with the right political will. There is everything left to fight for. Either this is a place worth living in, to bring up our children, or it isn't. Either we stand together and persuade the politicians that our voices matter, or we don't. We have come so far, let's not turn back. Our campaign has always been apolitical, but at next year's local election, ask your candidate where they stand on libraries and services. Did they actively support their community? There are no local services left in Preston. We deserve our library and the community remains united in its fight. We need councillors who will fight with us, for us.